Hi, welcome to doing a devotion with me. Today we are reading August 7th from My Almost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers and it is called Prayer in, my, in the Father's House. And before we read, let's pray. Father God, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, you're welcome to be with us wherever we are. And we ask that you would move in us, that we would hear your voice. God, be drawn into deeper relationship with you and challenged to become the man or woman of God you have created us to be. How exciting will our lives be when we rest in the goodness of your purpose for our lives. Lord, please, everything that comes from my mouth, may it be glorifying to you and edifying to your children. We give this all to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Prayer in the Father's House They found him in the temple, and he said to them, Did you not know that I must be about my Father's business? Luke 2, 46 and 49 our Lord's childhood was not immaturity waiting to grow into manhood. His childhood is an eternal fact. Am I holy, innocent of a ch am I a holy, innocent child of God as a result of my identification with the Lord and Savior? Do I look at my life as being in my father's house? Is the Son of God living in his Father's house within me? The only abiding reality is God himself, and his order comes to me moment by moment. Am I continually in touch with the reality of God, or do I pray only when things have gone wrong? When there is something disturbing in dis when there is some disturbance in my life. I must learn to identify myself closely with the Lord in ways of holy fellowship and oneness that somewhat, some of us have not yet even begun to learn. I must be about my Father's business, and I must learn to live every moment of my life in my Father's house. Think about your own circumstances. Are you so closely identified with the Lord's life that you are simply a child of God, continually talking to him and realizing that everything comes from his hands? Is the eternal child in you living in his father's house? Is the grace of his ministering life being worked out through your home, your business, and your circle of friends? Have you been wondering why you are going through certain circumstances? In fact, it is not that you have to go through them. It is because of your relationship with the Son of God who comes through the providential will of his Father into your life. You must allow him to have his way with you, staying in perfect oneness with him. The life of your Lord is to become your vital, simple life. And the way he worked and lived among his people while here on earth must be the way he works and lives in you. Hmm. You know, it's a really good, good devotion, but for some reason, the only thing that's really sticking out in my heart, into my heart, I guess, is the concept of, am I God's house? How does he write, how does he write my thought? Is the eternal child in you living in his father's house? It's just that concept of um, being a temple 
like giving God all of ourselves, um, even in prayer. Um, the life of your Lord is to become your vital, simple life. And the way he worked and lived among the people while here on earth must be the way he works and lives in you. It's so very real and life-giving. I don't have a lot to say. I think that's all that's gone through my head. I would love to hear what God spoke to you about with this particular Bible study, especially seeing as for some reason, it's just not one that like hit me. You know, sometimes they're just so like mind blowing and sometimes they're like, I think a slow simmering ponder. And I'll keep thinking about this one throughout the day, but I would love to hear if God really touched you. So I pray that you are blessed today and remember that God loves you so much. Bye.